Hey everybody, it's Kivik Tom. The overwhelming winner of the vote was Betrayal Rock by the one and only Raukau, whose art and games inspired this entire thing. I've been dreading this level since day one. So, like, you know, oh, what a great start, you know, there's the chest and uh, two power ups. How nice of the level to give us power ups right at the beginning. For an end game thing, you know, and Rauko making super hard levels. Uh, all these power ups sure look good. Oh, here's a door. Oh, I have to be small to get through it. Thank goodness there's so many power ups. Is that, actually, is this, is this box a power up as well? It sure is. This level sure wants you to be big, and that door sure wants you to be small. Do you see where this is going? <sighs> the aim of the game is to stay small for the entire level while dodging power-ups and listening to this Quebecois song, which I have the lyrics open to in case I get bored and want to sing along, and I am. Um, you just walk off that, that ledge. This is not a level you're actually supposed to die in. Just saying, it, you're you're supposed to just get frustrated by being too big. I'm I'm excited for this level. Look, I just there's just some way of getting hit. Like I was even thinking, you know, I'd find a Yoshi somewhere and do some glitches to make myself get hurt, like spawn a fish or something. So um, do remember that power ups actually have somewhat generous hitboxes. It's gonna be pop ups everywhere, aren't there? This piece switch. Uh, can I like? I can get through here, maybe. Let's try that. I think that's actually the way I have to go. I'm afraid of going anywhere in this level in case it spawns. Can I go above? There's no reason to, but yes, I can. Uh, hold on. So can I? I want to also try this. Can I pick this up? No, that's not a pick up of a block. Is this? Oh. No, I cloned. Oh, I don't know what's going on. There's, so these are reset doors, which is nice. Also, I should be checking pipes. Just in case. <laughs> I can see what's going to happen here. We have to survive the onslaught of power-ups. Okay, uh, we're not actually safe here. So let's go in here and dodge the power-up. This is like a Pavlov's dog situation. Did I... Yeah. I hope I don't have to go up above for anything. Oh, there's a parrot up there. Oh yeah, there are parrots. Have to worry about those. So where is the next pop-up mushroom going to be? This is another... Another piece. Which, okay. Oh, I can predict what's going to happen. I'm going to have to hit my way through those upper blocks and they're all going to have power-ups in them. Yep. Yeah. Oh. But um. But um. Uh, what's... Uh, if I was small, I could... Do you know what? I can actually check. The parrot's in there. You can, um... Jump taught me to glitch my way through. Well, and glitch my way to death. So, um... Although I was worried about this level, I've been told by two people now that I should probably maybe only lose five lives doing this. But again, losing lives is not my issue. And the two lives I've lost so far were due to stupidity. So, you know... lose this power up see we start off small do these glass blocks make you small because if they do that would be interesting I should actually try to find that out just skip that just skip it and let this fall to wherever it wants to fall to and let's grab this piece which do, 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 do. no I have to resist singing along I actually quite like this song All Right. Keep an eye on that power up. Uh, so I guess a uh, story time. Um, the reason why I started playing A to MT. So obviously, you know, it was in a broken version. Like it, it never worked until Toby555 came along and did the impossible and fixed absolutely everything. Like absolutely everything. With a little bit of help from some other people. But Toby555 did all the, the hard work. Um, I wasn't going to play this game. I thought it'd be way too hard for me. Damn it. Well, let's continue on anyway. We might unlock something. Uh, let's actually go down below, because I know I can glitch myself down below. 
into a hole. Where's the reset door from here? Anyway, story time. So, um, I put up a preview video just to let people know that this fixed edition existed. And I wasn't going to play it after that because I was playing Jump and that was hard enough. And uh, I was also like, I was releasing maybe two to three Jump videos a week because I was really busy with college stuff. Um, but then what happened was Rokow fell ill and in fact he could not put up a video for a week or so. So I decided, well, if he's unwell and this game was made for him, maybe I should play this. And he had actually left a comment saying that this, you know, seeing this game was just what he needed to make him feel better. So I made it my goal to put out an episode of this every single day until he was better. Um, which I did, even though it w probably wasn't the best time to do it because the week that he fell ill was actually the week that my PhD thesis was due. So there were like loads of super late nights of loads of frantic writing while also having to play this extra hard game and do editing. So yeah, that, that's how A2MT started. And then after that, when he was better, I took a break from this to finish Jump and then continued this. So that's, that's everything you needed to know. Right, let's, yeah, now. Oh wait, I still have to actually go up there. Hey, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Don't run out on me. Okay, progress. Fantastic. Uh, right, let's go through here now that we're small. Oh, I see what we have to do. Okay, so I have to follow this angel block. And not mess up. Bullets? Well, they don't seem to be firing, though. Yeah, they don't seem to be firing. I don't know what's going on. There's another reset door. I don't know if the reset door brings me back to this... Rude. I don't know if... If the reset doors bring me back to the start or not. So what I'm going to do, I'm just going to start jumping upwards. To... How rude. So I'm hoping that the level continues in this way, that it's not so much difficult as funny. Alright, what's next? Oh, small door. Don't mess up the... I nearly fell in the hole. Alright, part two. Do we get a midpoint? No, and it's still dull. Still dark out. Alright. And I have to still look out for enterable pipes. What I was doing there was holding the jump button so I can run across this gap. There is no need for that. Oh. Yeah, I really don't want to miss the chest or any parrots. Oh, wait! There's a parrot in the last room that I forgot to get. Because I was telling the story. Oh no. Uh... Oh. So this is not the way you're supposed to go. Damn it, I missed a parrot. And there probably is going to be a parrot in each room. I should really be extra careful not to die. Because... Yeah. Let's run through here. What could I be missing? Uh, one, two, three, four, five. That's a six tile high jump. But from here, it's very doable. Of course, there's a pop-up power up. Oh, stop it. I could just fall straight down. Oh, no, that's the reset door down there. I bet we have to go down there to get something like a P-switch to bring up here. There's a parrot down below. So down below is the parrot route. By the Is there a reason for... This two-sided pipe? Alright, let's get that parrot. Um, stop popping up. Uh, oh... This is a dangerous sort of slope. This is going to push me right into that power up. Okay. And I probably need this P switch. No, don't. Man, you can't even. These slopes are so dangerous. Good job. And the screen goes very black very suddenly because of it's, it's already partially faded out. And I have to restart. I shouldn't be dying. Oh, 
How did I fall in there? Come on, I wanted a... Perfect. Can I... Oh! I was hoping that you can get the parrot this way. No, there's a ceiling all the way across. I'm not sure how to get the parrot. Well, there's a reset door. Let's demo the reset doors. There you go, that's what happens. Alright, so... Can I go... How do I... How does this work? I don't understand how getting this part works. Unless it expects you to be big and do the spin jump glitch to get through there. Am I missing something? Because there's an entire... There's a ceiling across the entire level. Well, I only have to get it once, so... Yeah, I know. So what I do is I duck up there. Be real quick. But even this is, like, crazy. So there's no ceiling here. Weird. Okay, so there's no ceiling here, except maybe uh, when the P-switch is active. I don't know. I have no idea what's going on. This is super weird. Can I even get out here? Oops. Get up. Oh, there is so... Oh, okay, 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 okay. I get it. Part number one. Get. That's what people say, alright? That's what the cool kids say. They say GET in capital letters. Oh, whoops. Okay. Never have to do that again until I die. Inevitably. Okay, back here. Uh, what do I want to do here again? Okay, so I want to go forward. And it isn't too bad. Just have to do a bit of timing. I don't know why I insist on running across here. It makes no difference whatsoever. And then we go up here. So there's absolutely nothing over there. For the reset door, because you can't get back. Okay. Oh. But um Oh, you can go through here. Oh, it's a reset. Okay, it's a reset pipe. Nice. Now we understand. Just whoops. Whoops. I shouldn't be dying in this level. I'm glad that those bullet bill shooters don't work. I'm assuming that's intentional. But if they did work, this would be a different level entirely. Oh yeah, because then it'd be easy because you just get hit. Okay, fair enough. Oh. No, I don't want to be dying in this level. Oh. Man. Wait, you can jump through there? Alright, I'll take your word for it. What I... No, make it, make it, make it. I was jumping. What? 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 I was... Uh... Oh. Forgot about you. Oh yeah, this is a reset thing. Oh no, I didn't mean to go in. I don't know what I was doing. Oh, no, 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 no. Go in. No, now I'm gonna die again. See, this is annoying. Because now I have to redo a really slow level. Because there's like two piece with raiding areas and it's just generally slow. Now another one spawns here. But if you go over here you can despawn them. Is there any reason why these fences are here? Okay, easiest way to do this is just by falling. Like this. Alright. What I actually want to do. Oh, 
this might be slightly easier if I press this first. Now, oh no! Well, let's just see. Well, oh, that spawns a little tiny little door. Did you see that? But do I want to go through the pipe or through the tiny little door? Oh no! Momentum, because of super slopes. I don't even know how I'm going to do this. Um, I just want the parrot. More than anything else, I want the parrot. So let's do that. Where? Okay. So I do have to press the P-switch before I go over here. Or otherwise... That happens. Yeah, I want to press it first and then go on top of those things. So this section here is really for a preview. Where is it safest to press this P-switch though? Because I need this block here, so... No! No, this is the worst place because then I'm going to die. Like there's no reset door over here. I can't even spin jump here, that's strange. Why? So you... So do these little slopes here stop you from spin jumping? So this is a discovery. <laughs> a vanilla way of stopping spin jumps. What? Why didn't you go in? Alright, I'm gonna jump over this and over here I'm gonna <laughs> throw the piece of it away, but it survived. And I got this, damn it. Yeah, but you see if I If I press it here there's no way of getting around this thing. Right? Because from the slope, it'd be just too hard to jump over. <sighs> Why? Yeah, like, we can't make it over that. So how am I supposed to hit the P-switch? Make it through. No, no, I'm dead. And it takes like three real life minutes to get to here again, and I'm already tired out. Like, one way that this would work is if I had coins left over that I can jump on after hitting the P switch, but. Yeah, like, I actually need to press this, but how? Oh, see, I, I couldn't do anything about that because you're on a stupid, steep slope. Yeah, but even that's not possible. Oh. So it might work. No, the P-switch pushed me into it. Oh no, now I'm dead. Great job. Oh man, I think I've been at this an hour already. I am fed up. Uh, like, what well, annoys, like, okay, let me, let me explain. It's nothing to do with the level. Um, I'm just, Playing levels like this, where several people have come forward and said that, you know, it's actually not so bad, don't worry about it, it'll take you five lives, it'll take you 20 minutes or whatever. 
and it, levels like this remind me of how bad a player I am at this game and it, it makes me feel sad more than anything else and that's what makes me want to stop because it is clearly not as hard as I am making it out to be so I'm going to take a break and I'll come back to this either later or tomorrow depending on depending on how I feel.